Hi, I'm Margaret at Miller Guide and welcome back to day seven. So kind of sad that this is our last day together, but it need not be. So just the start of our journey together. Um, today, as promised, I'm going to cover core. And it's kind of ironic that I've left it for the last lesson because with most of my clients, that's one of the first things I look at is what is happening to your inner core. The inner core goes all the way and initiates with our breath and then finally our pelvic floor and but when you know we're thinking core and when I wrote strengthen your core then it's really about when people are going but I really want a strong core I really want to have you know nice tight abs and I want to have um, you know a good solid center and and that's absolutely what I want for you as well because having that stronger core is going to have a great influence on your balance imagine which is what's happening to a lot of people if they don't have a strong core then they have all this movement that happens you know when they're walking and stepping but then they have their upper body weight and movement and there's nothing holding things together so it solely throws off your balance by having that strong core that integrates your balance and your ability to control your body movements. Now, the other thing that having a strong core does is that it really helps you have better posture. And you know by now that you know having a good posture and being able to hold your 11 pound head over your spine is so very important to the safety of your spine. And lastly, having a strong core, not only does it make you feel so much better about yourself, but it allows the forces of your lower body and your upper body to be integrated so that whether you decide that you're going to golf or that you're going to take up, you know, brisk walking or Nordic polling or any of the sports that you love to do, that your core pulls everything together for you and allows you to just do it that much better. I know that all my clients that embark on a strength training program, they can lift harder and heavier when they have a stronger core. And so, if you want to explore further, that's all about the Strengthen Your Core book is to allow you to work on your core in a way that you don't have to worry about your bones, that you know that, that the loading is actually good for your bones because a lot of the loading means loading through your upper body, which is really critical for strengthening your wrists and strengthening your shoulders so that should you have a fall, you're going to be that much stronger to support yourself, but also that you're going to just, what it's all about, have a stronger core. So thanks so much for tuning in. I'm Margaret at Miller Guide.